Hey guys, it's Kirkland from Let Me Plan That and today I'm going to be here creating a little bit different of a video for you guys. So I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite Happy Planner products. Besides stickers of course, I mean stickers are always the obvious answer. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over some of my favorite uh, most useful things. Some maybe not so useful but just fun. Uh, one by one. And hopefully it'll help you in deciding your purchases so the first thing I have this is just what's on the top are these planner patches you can put these pretty much anywhere I think they're super cute on the front of a deluxe cover I personally don't have a deluxe cover yet but it's coming soon so that will be where these are going they're super cute if you don't like the design I know some of them say like plan a happy life or they have like a heart or something these are super cute to put on top of those so the first thing is planner patches the next thing that I really really enjoy are half sheets now these are just normal uh, lined half sheets I don't want to take them out because I'm scared I'm not gonna be able to get them back in but these are just normal lined paper half sheets. It's good for like super long to-do lists and they're super inexpensive. I like adding these as an extra something if I need it. Now these two, these two are specific for like, I think I would kind of use them as memory planning, like in my memory planner. This one is the travel one. So it has a details section, a who, what, when, where, type of thing, the itinerary, a note section, a little get it done checklist, and on the back, there's a packing list. So this would be fun to pop in, um, maybe my catch-all if I wanted to, just as like a pre-planning for a vacation, or I could pop it in my memory planner as just a fun little, memory, a memory, really. Just a fun little something to know this is where we were going, this is who was going, here was how I planned for the trip, you know, something like that. This set, uh, I don't know what it's called, probably it's something just like everyday plans or something like that. But this one, I love the scallops on the punches, they're my favorite. These are more like documenting an event. So say you go to a concert or something, so you would put... You can put a picture right here or you can write and then there's a little spot for moments and then there's a currently down at the bottom that has like going listening watching loving feeling all that stuff and on the back is some more like photo boxes and some extra note page like note space so i love these these are definitely going in my memory planner for sure if not somewhere else so my next thing are these pop-in envelopes now these, um, a lot of this stuff I use in my memory planner, but a lot of it I use in my catch-all too. These I use in both. So in my memory planner, I, when I print the pictures, I'll go ahead and cut them and stick them in the envelope and stick the envelope in the week that the pictures correspond with. It's just an easy way to keep everything straight and I know I don't have to mix up my weeks and whatnot. So in my catch-all planner that doesn't go anywhere, it stays at my house, it lays open on my coffee table, I have one of these in the monthly view. My monthly view of my catch-all planner is my budget. So at the beginning when I take out my savings in cash, I'll slot it in this pocket until the end of the month once I've accumulated all the savings that I want to for the month and then I take the cash elsewhere you know count it all up and I'll put it somewhere safe where I'm not gonna lose it and it's not gonna get stolen but these little pockets these little envelopes are really good to have you could pop one in your mini happy planner on the go and keep um, coupons in there or even a little extra cash if you need it some gift cards you know you can pretty much hold whatever you want to in these another thing that I love are dashboards I have one in every single one of my planner these actually came from the glam girl line I won this you know how cool I don't ever wear anything 
And I, I think this one actually came from the Joanne big box thing, the mega accessory kit. But dashboards are my lifesaver. It makes it so easy, just pop one in your current week or month or whatever you prefer. And when I look at my planner, I can just grab from the tab and open and I'm exactly where I need to be. I don't have to waste time trying to fiddle through the weeks and the months and I accidentally open it to the wrong page. It just keeps everything, you know, clean. And oh, this one still has the plastic on it. Let me rip that off. So noted. On the back of most of your dashboards, there's going to be clear plastic paper. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are dashboards. Now let's talk about sticky notes. So the way I use sticky notes is I use them as kind of a, a pre-planning apparatus. I will put a sticky note when I make an appointment or something and I'll go ahead and put it in the week or day that it is happening but since it's in a sticky note I can just remove it when I go to decorate or if some for some reason that appointment moves sticky notes are my favorite but they can also be used as stickers if that's what you so desire all you have to do is put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the sticky note and now it's a sticker sticky notes are great things to have I keep some in my planner um, mainly for pre-planning but sometimes it's nice to just have something to jot stuff down on and keep with you I love sticky notes my next favorite thing kind of goes along with what I said earlier but it's filler paper so this is normal classic sized filler paper it's not half sheet it's the whole page and this comes with lined and then dot grid paper or not dot grid it's um it's graph paper excuse me i love these so much this is what i put trackers um i have like a, a birthday a big birthday master list i have like a sales tracker i have um i'm getting ready to make a bunch of stuff using this so if you'd like to see that please uh, stay tuned for later videos I'm about to make bunches of things with these sheets uh, these are these are fantastic there's just nothing else I can say about them they are worth the price I don't think they're very much probably between five and eight dollars but they're incredible I love all the filler paper so the last thing I'm going to talk about is pocket folders I have a pocket folder in all of my planners. In my mini planner, it stores receipts. In my classic, that is a catch-all. Oops. See? Sticky notes. Pre-planner. In my classic happy planner, I have a folder just with extra documents. Just random things that I feel need to go in my catch-all planner. And in my big planner, that is my student planner, I have... Um, my passwords for all my school things. I have uh, parking receipts from when I pay to park on campus. I have little flyers from uh, my college that get handed out in my building and all that kind of stuff. So pocket folders are really good way to keep organized. You don't, they're not like super necessary depending on how you intend to use your planner you can always paper clip stuff if you want i just enjoy having pocket folders that way i know everything's where it's supposed to be and all that good stuff so yeah guys that wraps up my favorite happy planner products <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed i think i'm gonna try to do a just a favorite planning products in general video hopefully sometime soon but yeah these are all my favorite happy planner related happy planner brand products at least so thanks for watching guys if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more i would love it if you would subscribe and follow me on instagram at let me plan that and i will see you next time